gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, just putting up a demo video here, and this is talking about the declaration that we used to call the Declaration of Independence, then there was the unanimous declaration, but ladies and gentlemen, the official declaration is called a declaration, and it was introduced by the individual with the signature, the most prominent signature on the document. And it turns out there was only one signature on the original, and that was John Hancock. When you get a chance, take a look at the video. Now look, I gotta, you know what? I'm gonna put it under both videos. Hold on. There's a link for a discount of Animaker. I've been trying to get Animaker for quite some time, ladies and gentlemen, Animaker. This is their pricing, $10 a month. You can't beat that, honestly. Now this one has some limitations, okay? And mostly it's gonna be the minutes. But this one right here, this is the um, this is not the top plan. This is the top plan right here. This is one that's gonna be getting into your you know your 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 cracks and crevices and all of that. But this one right here, they have their free plan. It literally this one is probably one of the better animated softwares out there, and the link. If you don't have it already, should get you this $10 a month because now the price is actually $19 a month. Okay, so it's over $200. Uh, we're doing it for the company and we're getting it for the 120 price they have here. Um, matter of fact, I just got it. Originally, I got the one for 19, so they are gonna have to give me a refund on that one. But then I got this one because I prefer this price better than I prefer $229. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what I'm saying is all. So if you're interested in Animaker, then that's going to be the suggestion for you. Okay. <sighs> Let's do this real quick. Let's see if we can find that document. I, I think I did find it, but now I don't know where it is. So we're going to do it again. A. Declaration. Okay, representative of the United States of America, Congress and General Assembly, and all that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, I would be doing the video showing you guys about the lawsuit, which is mailed out today. Sorry, and it's not a lawsuit in the common vernacular of a lawsuit. And we're going to be explaining that. So it'll be Monday that I'll do that video because I'm just too tired to do it now. Too tired to do it now. Now pay attention. A declaration by the representative of the United States of America. A declaration. This is the actual one, Library of Congress. So let's go here. Library of Congress, that's where we're going. Library of Congress to let you see what the actual title is. Now, someone brought this to my attention, a young man. I don't remember the young man's name, but he was put on a call with me and Mr. Uh, the one who calls himself Pastor on the Way, I believe. All right. In Congress. Now, this is the Library of Congress. In Congress. July 4th, 1776. Hey, look at that. The Dunlap Declaration of Independence. Dunlap. Now, why were there so many declarations of independence? Huh? This document is the first printed version of the American Declaration of Independence on June 7, 1776. Richard Henry Lee of Virginia introduced a resolution urging Congress meeting in Philadelphia to declare independence from Great Britain. Four days later, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, Benjamin Franklin, Roger Sorman, and Robert Livingston were appointed as committee to draft the Declaration of Independence. The committee draft was read in Congress on the 28th of June, and on July 4th, Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence, containing a list of grievances against the British Crown. The document was printed and circulated throughout the colonies in the form of a broadside. 
broadsides were large sheets of paper, usually printed on one side, that were popular in the 1800s, uh, 1700s, sorry, as a means of rapid distribution of important information. They were posted at town halls and coffee houses. That's where you get the notification thing. You can post it at the county recorder's office and county office and all that stuff. Read in churches and public meetings and often reprinted and accepted the local newspaper, World Digital Library. Ladies and gentlemen, this, I want to get the text. I want the text. I don't want the, uh, the doc, because the document's hard to read. We're going to do PDF too. Oh, look at that. It won't give me the either of the two. We got the digital ID, but we don't care about that right now. Um, ladies and gentlemen, oh, look at that. It's going to give us the PDF. Here, right here in the Congress, we're going to put this link underneath the video too, y'all. Going to put this underneath here too so y'all can have both of them. Both, both, both of them. Okay. And this time, hopefully, I'll remember to give you guys the PDF because this don't look like a PDF. Wait, I thought you were supposed to give me the PDF, homie. Hold on. Let's do that one more again, y'all. So I can get off of this microphone and go on about my business. Allows it. There's the PDF, y'all. There is the P to my F. Now, I was going to sign it with my, my, my real name, Eon, because I didn't do the other one that way. And notice this. This is the declaration. You see how John's got his name right there, and it's like Hanny Cockies. And then I don't know who the John was, but John, apparently he was somebody, probably a slave owner. Wait. Oh, this is the back of the document. Did they know did they um endorse it? Yep, we got an endorsement here. Is that an acknowledgement? I don't know. Can't read it. But we got people signing it. So John Hancox wasn't the only person who signed it. Oh, well, he didn't even sign it. Look at that. It just has his name. Signed by order and in behalf of the Congress. Ah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a copy of the original Declaration of Independence. This is what they said. It said the original. Notice it used words like hef evident, fef evident, as opposed to self evident. Then you have unalienable and in fitutated. I don't know how to pronounce that because it's I N F T I T U T E D. I guess that T is silent, so infatuate. <laughs> See, it just don't make no sense when you pronounce it like that. Anyway, here's the original, ladies and gentlemen. The next time, a Declaration of Independence. And we got it not just from any place. I always, uh, somebody tell me something. I'm always going to go find out. Okay, take a look. Dunlop Declaration of Independence. Now, don't say nothing here about Declaration of Independence on a caption. It's called a Declaration. This is what they titled it. It's a copy of the original. Come on now. Copy of the original. And remember. Congress didn't just go, pay attention, Congress didn't just go, pay attention, Congress didn't just go write this and then send it off to the king. No, they had to get the people's consent. That's why they put it in the newspaper, sent it to the town hall, sent it to the churches, sent it to the local publishing. Why? Because Congress couldn't do it on its own. Congress needed the backing of the people. But y'all know that. How could Congress fight against England without the people backing them? Man, that would have been a massacre. You wouldn't even, it had to be called Boston. It would just have been a massacre. Okay, so I'm so glad we got that taken care of. So I'm going to give you guys the PDF link so that you can download it for yourself and have it for yourself. Now, again, I'm putting my digital signature on the bottom of mine. I don't know what y'all going to do, but mine going to go right here next to the president. Might even move his name and make myself the president. No, I'm just kidding. Some of y'all gonna do stupid things like don't be, don't be stupid, but don't be cruel. Oh, oh, help me, girl. I will never be that cool to you. I know, oh, I know. Bobby Brown, don't be cruel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, ladies and gents. Bye, bye.